Nanook Metal. Tuk tuk. Hello friends, my name is Nanook Metal and I hope that you're having a good day. Today I want to show you how to complete the Diamond Heist and Stealth and One Down difficulty. What I'll try and do with this tutorial is basically break it down into the most basic steps so that uh, if you're not very experienced in stealth, uh, you will be able to complete it still. One thing I have to mention is that start with the normal difficulty and work your way up uh, the, as you complete them, just so that it will be a little bit easier every time. The first thing is that you can either go through the main gate or through the main doors, considering that there is no guard that spawns in front of the doors. This guy is stationary, unfortunately, and that means that unless I kill him, I won't probably won't be able to uh, sneak by him. It will be a little bit difficult. So instead, I brought some thermite with me, and I bring it every time just in case that guy spawns. And I'm gonna go through uh, this window down here. I'm gonna wait for this gentleman to leave and wait for the thermite to finish melting. Sometimes there are cameras that spawn here. If you bring the uh, quick perk um, bot boost, uh, you will be able to interact with the thermite in the window before the uh, camera spots you. Otherwise, loop it. Uh, bring the uh, nimble skill and loop the cameras. Secured. The whole build that I'm use normally use, I brought it, uh, brought a variation of it, which I will talk about a little bit in a few moments. But if you want to see my build, check Security the guard. description below. Once inside of the museum, you gotta find four electrical boxes, and sometimes there is one that spawns in the basement. Don't see it here today. Might be somewhere else, but not a huge problem. I'm gonna go find that one elsewhere. I brought some trip mines with me that I'm gonna use in sensor mode. Quite handy to highlight any guards or civilians that are walking around and I also brought the high value target to test out for the first time. Here's the first electrical box. I'm gonna place a couple of uh, the trip mines around the map and together with the High value target, they should highlight guards and civilians for quite extensive Security amounts of time. This is probably not the best way to enter the museum because there is a lot of movement and I'm wasting a lot of time right now. Let's not waste that much time. The other asset I brought with me is the glass cutter and that allows me to break into these display cases. And you have to find ones with the Gensec stickers. The other ones, if they don't have a Gensec sticker, they're useless. Don't try and break the glass. First of all, it's alarmed just like in the diamond store. And uh, second of all, well, people will actually... Uh, I think I think they will notice them, but there's not much point to them noticing them or not, because they, if, if the alarm goes off, uh, you're already screwed regardless. Apart from the electrical boxes, I will also need to find some civilians and kill them. There's one guy there, but uh, he's sort of surrounded by a few people right now. So I'm gonna let him be. This window is another asset. It's the Bagman and I got it in the east eastern stairwell. And there's also an option to get it in the northern hall. It's the inner part of the museum. It's really up to you for which Bagman you wanna go. I personally think that this one is relatively close to each area and so... It's a little bit more fair on each area, no or on each lootable sort of area it. of the museum. Here's the camera guard. He spawns in the room behind the security sign. And th this room will spawn in different places every time. You don't have to go for this, uh, for the camera guy. It's up to you. I personally think that, um, at least for this heist, it's pretty nice. I always, or most of the time, advocate that taking out the camera guard is not such a good idea. And this is probably one of the exceptions. Here's some more loot, and as I go through the heist, I'll show you more and more optional loot that is not behind the uh, uh, the glass cases, so it's a little bit less obvious that those items are lootable. Here's another item that I can steal, but uh, I need to focus on the main objective. Cameras are now off, which is pretty nice, and that guy almost spotted me. Spotted me. Oh my. Sometimes the boxes spawn in the courtyard as well, and talking about the courtyard, I also got a Spy cam placed in the courtyard, which should help me spot anyone walking around this area. 
The bushes are quite useful if you need to hide behind them. But other than that, I don't think you'll end up spending a lot of time in this area. Let's drop another trip mine. These rooms over here are pointless. They are empty. Um, you can hide things in there, but apart from that, there's nothing useful that you will find in those rooms. Here's the last electrical box. So now what I need to do is find a civilian. These lasers are now off, which allow me they allow me to get into the inner part of the museum. However, if I want to go even further, I need to start up this time lock and the time lock does not start unless you drop a key card in there. This is why I need to kill those civilians. You don't have to kill the civilians. You can um, just, if you're careful enough, you can just, oh. it's a bit, it's a bit dangerous actually. <laughs> Let's try and get rid of this guy as soon as I can. Yeah, you don't have to kill the civilians, you can just tie them up and try bring them in one of these side rooms. I personally think that for the price of the killing, it's just too much risk. Much better to just kill them and bag them and hide them. And this is why I bring a body bag case with me, with the jack of all trades, but I also got one in the renovated room. I think that's the last piece of the assets that I needed to mention. Pretty sure I've mentioned everything. Uh, talking about the equipment, yes, Jack of All Trades allows me to bring uh, not only the body bag case, but the trip mines as well. Nothing else in this room is lootable. Okay. Not a huge problem. Let's start up this first time lock. One minute and 30 seconds uh, before this door opens, which means that uh, about 7, a, 8, 8, 10? 8, 8, 8, 15, something like that. Uh, that first time lock will be ready to go. But uh, there is a second time lock behind the first time lock. And this is why I still need to kill the second civilian. So I'm pretty happy that I ended up killing him. I was a little bit annoyed that, well, distressed that potentially a guard could have seen me kill that guy, but uh, it all worked out. While I'm waiting for the time lock, I'm gonna secure some more loot. And uh, once it's done, I'll start up the second time lock. Steal some more things from that room. Someone's coming up. Gotta be careful with this guy. Let's uh, move all the loot a little bit closer to this door. And when I have a chance, then I will uh, go ahead and secure it in the stairwell. It's probably one of the uh, best tactics. In fact, right now there's nobody around there. So let's get that secured as well. And make sure you, that you inspect every single room. Not every loot is very obvious. Especially it's very easy to miss the Jensek stickers. But as long as you walk up to every, each and single box or display case, you should be able to uh, find everything. Here's another one. If I recall correctly, that loot is just... Th those are just loose items. You just pick them up and you don't have to bag them or anything. That's clear, that's clear. Let's drop you off. And I gotta start up the second time lock because uh, that's Security the most guard. important thing. Security don't forget guard. that if you don't secure the diamond, you are, it doesn't matter how much loot you secure, if the diamond is not secured, you're screwed. That's, that's crucial. So don't focus on the other loot. Just worry about the Security. diamond. Okay, that's not very nice. That's definitely was definitely was a waste of ammo. <laughs> Still got two more body bags on me. Let's get you sorted out. Don't need another key card, so I'm just gonna let it be. There are three guards that spawn in this part of the map originally. However, more guards will eventually end up here because uh, the they once you open up the time lock, basically, once you open up that gate, they can walk in and out freely. Keep that in mind. That is somewhat of a problem because mainly uh, you, like, you might not expect it. 
there is also one guard that patrols this area. He doesn't walk out anyway. It's just this loose guard, this guy over here probably, or the other one. They might come into this part and they might come in even further into the inner part of the museum. Just waiting for this guy to pass, waiting for that other guy to pass so that I can secure more of this loot. Probably should place a few more trip mines as well. Security guard. Whole bunch of people. A security guard. There's actually like quite a lot of guards walking around right now, seriously. Let's place one here. And that's yet another little display case. Careful. Where is he going? I probably can sneak past him. How's the time log going? Should be should be just about done. I'm gonna go have a look. Yes indeed there are just two more seconds left on it. One good thing about disabling the cameras is that you don't have to worry about this camera anymore. But once again, just loop it, bring Nimble, loop it, or drop an ECM and disable it that way. Open up these gates and this camera will spawn here every time. So bring something to deal with it. Now comes the most notorious part of the diamond heist. It's the maze. And a lot of times I see people get all excited and they just run into this room, run across the tiles and mess up both stealth and loud, you have to make sure you don't step on the tiles. Otherwise your life is going to be extremely difficult. How do you walk, walk the maze? Pretty easy actually. If you interact with this, um, I'm pretty sure these are fuses, but you know, those switchable fuses, but uh, yeah, for the purposes of Payday 2, this is actually a representation of the maze done on these small switches. The green lights indicate the correct path. So, for example, that third one from the left, if I step here, I'm okay. Next one will be the one above it, and then I've got to go right, right, right. But, man, this map is extremely complicated, and I only get 30 seconds. So you not only have to wait for the path to draw out, you also have to then memorize it and uh, walk all the way there. You can do things like typing out the path. So if you go up, it's W. If you go right, it's D, W, 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 W. A for left, W, A, uh, just one A, W, W, D, 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 W. And then you just gotta walk back in reverse, but it's actually easy because if you step on the tile, it depresses slightly, so you can actually see the path back. That can also be fairly complicated. On lower difficulties, you will have a lot of time to do this. You'll have like over a minute to do it. On Mayhem and above, you only get the 30 seconds, so even a path like this might become somewhat difficult to do. Uh, three up, then one right. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. I already spent 13 minutes into the heist. I've, I don't really want to mess up right now. So what I can recommend you is just have a little bit of patience. Wait for it to run out. Interact with it again. Every time you interact with uh, the maze, it will actually become easier. Not sure how it works, but... Uh, after, as you can see, after about like five or six interactions, it becomes extremely easy. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna go right, and then I'm gonna go up all the way. You see how much easier that was, and all it took me is just three or four interactions, so two minutes, roughly. And I still had like three seconds to spare. Now the Mace has reset, but I do have the diamond, so I don't need to come back here anymore. Now I can go and secure that sucker. Making sure that there is no one behind or around me. I'm gonna wait for this guy to walk away. I'm gonna wait for another guard to walk away. And then... Both of them are actually walking away now, which is good. Now I can do, secure the diamond, and from this point on, I can escape. By the way, here is another wearable painting. That's uh, the third one that I know of, if you take into account the ones we saw in the renovated room. I'll show you one more painting that you can loot. Let's see. It's in the main hall over here. Pretty fancy as well. Probably one of the largest stealable paintings in the game. 
let's go ahead and secure review and now this is pretty much it all i have to do is walk around and look oh get out of here look for those display cases with the gensec sticker on them find them loot them bag them uh, carry them get rid of them once i'm happy that i found all of the loot and I don't think things like these are lootable. I've never seen them being lootable. There might be other items that uh, spawn sometimes, but I do know that the paintings spawn every time. So you're, you're certainly going to find them and be able to loot them every single time. Apart from that, I think I'm pretty sure I've mentioned everything in regards to the diamond heist. Come on, you're gonna move. So what we can do now is just leave. I personally don't really care for the loot. And so uh, once the diamond is done, I can leave. But you, however, now have the power to do the whole heist and steal. <laughs> steal as many things as you want. Don't really have to carry this thing but me. And they should just get rid of it so I can sprint around. Let's leave you. 60 minutes in. Security Took actually quite a while. Of course, I cannot go through the main gate. If I had an ECM with me, I could have gone out uh, that way and just kill all the guards and just run past them. But unfortunately, I don't have an ECM. So I have to be a little bit more patient. Waiting for that window to become unobstructed so that I can... Uh, that guard decided to go through this door. No? Okay, no. What a sneaky guy. So yeah, I'm waiting for that window to become clear so that I can escape. Checking my surroundings once again. And we're good to go. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to share it with your friends because good people need to watch good videos. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a good day. I will see you later. Bye-bye.